Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bit of a different video, but this is something that I'm truly passionate about and just that I want to share my knowledge and um, this is kind of like a review video of something that I really enjoy and it's skincare and I might do some more like skincare and beauty videos because that's just what I like and I feel like a lot of people are interested in this topic and specifically I um, really enjoy clean beauty and skincare and I feel like there's just not as much information about this because it's still an emerging market and people are still kind of figuring out more and more about clean beauty and skincare so um, I just want to share what I know about it and just some of my experiences with the products so let's just get started and right into it. So today I want to go through and share a little bit about the sunscreen that I use and just kind of how I found it and basically like why I love it so much and my absolute favorite sunscreen. So this one is called AO Skincare and basically when I was looking for a sunscreen um, I actually tried a lot and I did so much research so then I finally found this one and I just kind of like risked it and tried it you know I just bought it without really finding any reviews because um, there's just there just wasn't a lot on this product so um, even when I looked it up on YouTube I couldn't find anything so I really hope that this will be helpful for someone who's interested in trying this product so I bought it myself um, I never like really heard about this company before but the main thing that I look for in a sunscreen is that it has physical sunscreens so physical sunscreens means that it has like it's like a barrier instead of a chemical so chemical sunscreens is like oxybenzone and like um, oxy oxy whatever but it has like those chemical sunscreens which some people are okay with but I just feel like I'd rather use something that people know are more safe. So all the sunscreens that I'm sharing today are only physical sunscreens and they're basically the only ones that I use unless they're in my um, like foundation makeup but I'm really trying to cut those out as well. So the main problem that you run into when trying physical sunscreens and why a lot of people don't really like them is because that they leave a white cast on your skin. So like have you ever put sunscreen on and then you see like it leaves like a super white streaky mark and it's just like really hard to get off or like you see those kids with the um, white noses and that's like from physical sunscreen. So um, what I was looking for when trying to find a everyday cream is that it doesn't leave this mark because I do like to wear makeup on top or just like I don't want to spend so much time rubbing it in. So when I found this one I was super excited because it does not leave a white mark and I'll show you guys exactly how it looks on my skin. Even when I was looking at reviews of other really popular um, natural sunscreens, people said they didn't leave a white mark but then when I tried them they still did and I have very fair skin so you might think that oh it won't be as visible on me but still like I want to make sure it is really moisturizing and not drying and it doesn't irritate my skin or cause more breakouts and it just like sits nicely. I feel like all those things are so hard to find in a um, physical natural sunscreen. So basically the first one that I wanted to try that I heard really good reviews about was this La Roche-Posay um, liquid sunscreen. So this is a SPF 50 and um, it's like very liquidy so it um, is supposed to like spread very easily and they say it doesn't leave a white cast but the thing about this is that it's very very drying so I will show you what it looks like it has this like little nozzle thing and then you just pour it out and as you can see it's very runny but when you rub it in, it still feels like it kind of goes out in clear, but it leaves your skin very dry. And I felt that it really clung to my dry patches, even though like when I just wash my face or something, like I don't see any dry patches, but this creates them. So 
I don't really use this on my face anymore. It also does not sit well under makeup, so I honestly can't recommend this. I just now I'm trying to use it up and I used it on my body, but it's also very expensive, so I just like would find something else for your body, which I um, did, and I found something amazing. So this is the Broad Spectrum Badger Sunscreen, and this is like kid safe and friendly, and this is the one that I use all over my body in the sun. So I don't really put sunscreen on my body like day to day. On my face I do, but not on my body, so I use this one in the sun, um, in the summer when I like go to the beach or I know that I'll be in the um, sun all day because I want to stay protected, but usually I just wear clothes so I'm protected, but this one is amazing and you want to find the one that says non-whitening. So it does kind of come out white, as I will show you. Actually, I'll show you here. So it is a bit thick. Okay. So it does come out white, but then once you blend it in, it goes in completely clear, and it kind of feels a little bit um, oily, but it's very moisturizing, and you can see that it doesn't leave anything. This is the best one that I found just overall because it's, I feel like it has the best ingredients, so it has only five ingredients, but also that it's the most clear when putting it on. Even this, um, you saw that I put a little bit and it was clear, but when you put a lot, it still does leave a bit of a white cast. Okay, so now let's go on to my final and favorite product, which I use almost every day, and this is just like the best thing that I've, I think, recently discovered, and I really don't know why more people aren't talking about it, because it's so good. This is the AO Elemental Screen, and this is SPF 30, and it really goes on super clear, so it kind of comes out white, and I'll, I want to show you guys on my whole face, because that's how, um, you know, you would apply it, so I want to show you how it looks. So it has this nice pump tube and I feel like that really makes it easy to dispense and just to measure how much you're using because you want to make sure you're getting enough to actually protect you from the sun. So this one also, um, the other thing that I really really love about this one is that it has a super good rating on EWG which is like a um, ingredient rater and it shows like you know, like what kind of ingredients are in products and if they're good or not, but this one is really good. All the ingredients are super safe and like you can probably even use this on kids, but I just feel so much better using this on my face from day to day. Also, the other thing that I want to say about this is that it sits so well under makeup, it basically fits all my criteria. So it sits well under makeup, it's very moisturizing, so I don't need um, to use like a moisturizer or anything with it and it goes on clear. So let me show you how that looks now. Okay, so what I do is just take about one pump and as you can see it is white and it does go on a little bit white just like a normal cream. So here I just spread it between my uh, four fingers and then I just kind of put it on everywhere quickly like that, pat it on and then I blend it in. So let me just show you how I blend it in. So as you can see, it's just melting into my skin and I don't have any makeup on, which is why I look a little different than my other videos. I just have a tiny bit of mascara and I use it under the eyes. It's very safe and doesn't irritate my skin at all. And the other thing is that I actually found that it helps heal my acne. So if I have like active breakouts, the um, main ingredient, which is zinc oxide, it really benefits your skin and helps clear of acne. So I just put a little more just so I make sure I get around my hairline. And you can even use it around your jaw, your ears. And as you can see how quickly it rubbed in, my skin feels so moisturized and healthy. Like, I just love this product. I feel like it also sits very well under makeup. So this one is very moisturizing and I have like 
oily like t-zone that gets dewy by the end of the day and then normal cheeks and so with this kind of product it's very moisturizing so i probably wouldn't use a very dewy foundation i would opt for a more matte foundation just if you want it like lasting all day or even a powder foundation would work great with this but if you have dry skin this product will be so great for you because then you can basically wear any foundation i think and um yeah so basically that is how it looks as you can see you can't even see it at all it's super clear so my skin is super moisturized and healthy and now I feel like it's prepped and ready for the day so I can put anything on top and I know that my skin will be protected from the sun. So the main reason why it's super important to wear sunscreen every day and why I choose to wear sunscreen every day is because I feel like I'm protecting my skin in the long run. So um, sun is the number one cause of aging um, on your face and body just like on your skin because it's the uh, UV rays they cause aging and wrinkles and once I put this on I'm protecting my skin for the long run so if you look at people who um, wear sunscreen their whole lives they'll have much better skin especially on their face than somebody who doesn't and also you're being safe and taking care of yourself by preventing skin cancer which is a very um, serious thing and that you just want to be aware of even if you think you can never get it you can definitely do no harm by using a product like this so this product is a little bit more pricey but I feel like that price is worth protecting your skin and keeping yourself beautiful especially because it like match it fits all my criteria I feel like I don't know who wouldn't like this. Maybe if you have very, very oily skin, this product might not be the best for you. But you can always just pat it down with some powder. But I would still suggest trying it because even oily skin can benefit from very moisturizing products because that will help your skin not produce as much oil. So I would definitely recommend this product. This product is an absolute favorite of mine, like a holy grail status. And I use it almost every day because I want to keep my skin protected. Basically, the only days I don't use it is when I'm um, doing my skin for like an event or just like an all-day um, makeup day. So I want to have like my makeup last all day. And with this, I do get a little bit oily by the end of the day, but nothing that a little blotting won't fix. So when I don't wear this, I make sure to use another kind of sunscreen like in my makeup or just some kind of um, powder like bare minerals it has a SPF of 15. so i hope this video was helpful i really just want to share my knowledge and my favorite products with you guys these are the best these two are like a power duo so you want to make sure you have your face and body protected whenever you're in the sun um, if you're interested in this product, I'll leave the link below and make sure to subscribe and like this video for more in the future. That really helps to support my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye!